Good morning. I'm here. Apollo is here. He had his cuddles already. I'm uploading yesterday's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm unraveling what I had so far for my granny, Ariana Cardigan. I was not confident about the fit. So I decided I had about the front panel and half of the back panel and an armhole attached. I'm unraveling it now. So, And then I decided to block it because I'm just not as good as a crocheter to know what is going to happen and how the fabric will um, behave and how much uh, ease there is to block. So yesterday I put half my, um, half my cardigan in the water and then I blocked it and then this happened. I have been working different ways of crocheting my granny squares. I found one YouTube in which the lady says that she has been um, weaving in ends and attaching like this for ages and nothing ever came undone. So I just need to trust the process, but I have not been doing it this way from the beginning. I started by weaving in ends and well, doing things differently. So, but that obviously did not work. To be honest, I'm glad I decided to do a in-between block because this one would also have been attached to the knitting. Stop it. I would have panicked slightly if the knitting was already done or uh, too, and then I would have be, um, and then this would have happened. So I kind of decided that I'm going to attach one more round to all my granny squares. And although I like this zigzagular pattern to attach them, I'm also contemplating a join as I go, since I'm going to uh, knit one round on all my squares. All ideas are welcome. In the meantime, oh, I have I just came home from my visit to my osteopath and on days where I had my treatment, I don't plan anything else because I feel like run over by a train. So that's okay. Um, I know how I feel when I've been for the treatment, so I can just um, take it in account, do an admin day, there's labeling to do, there's designing to do, so I don't have to, I don't have to be bored or something. 
I'm really cold now. That's also one of the reactions I get from a treatment. So I'm going to find a little blankie and knit for a little while. And let's see how far the vlog is with uploading. 32%, 70, 27 minutes. YouTube is not cooperating today. Sometimes it just uploads and uh, you're done. But today it has been taking a lot of time. Well, it's not that I have very busy plans, so we'll just wait and I will talk to you later. And so it is evening already. It is past nine. I had a meeting here at seven and somehow we managed to talk for two hours. Um, I had a meeting with my uh, program committee. As you know, I am uh, president of my local inner wheel club for this year. So that means that I have to come up with a nice and engaging program. Uh, 10 evenings in one year, but I'm doing one and a half year. So we have to come up with 15 um, programs or uh, a speaker or a visit to, uh, to a company or something creative, things like that. Um, so we had the meeting and I hardly have admit anything. I have been uh, wall hobbying. I have been making uh, kits, mini skeins. And I, the, the weather was so nice here today. So I cycled um, around the city to do some shopping, some grocery shopping, boring stuff. Um, so um, yeah, well, the day kind of got away from me. Um, I do want to tell that uh, I decided on joining the Make Nine hype. Uh, I've done a Make Nine before, no. I have... I came up with a Make Nine before, never made it. Uh, but uh, Amy from Noble Character Crafts, she has a podcast. Um, she's from Nebraska. She is hosting a Make Nine Make Along. And uh, Rins, Rinske, a Dutch uh, vlogger, is joining the make-along. So uh, in two different uh, YouTube channels, um, I saw that Make9 make make-along um, popping up each time. So I decided to join. Um, the first on my Make 9 is my Secret Forest Mystery Knit Along. It is not a mystery anymore, of course, because that was in September. It is a pattern of Paper Daisy Creations. Um, the lovely, lovely Lisa, who I had an interview with last week. And um, my Secret Forest is about... Well, it's not even half done. So I want to try and finish that this year. Then my Ariana cardigan. Well, we all happen know what happened there. So I have to make a decision to have this not happening again. And um, I have to make that because I want to wear it when I go to my yarn fair in April. Um, the Make 9 uh, whips are allowed. Amy is very 
loosey goosey. It, it is a participatory make along. You don't have to finish anything. You don't have to uh, bring just new projects. All is fine. So my pentapillar pullover, um, that's also on my make nine. I hope I have time to show it tomorrow, but I have a very busy day. Um, my iCal is filled with clients, but I do need to do one sleeve, the collar and the hem. So nearly done. Then I put in uh, a pattern from Hinterstein. That is a very, very talented designer. Very classy, wearable designs, staples for your wardrobe. So um, I decided on the, what was the name again? Down and... Just a second. The down and across game. And I picked this one. It was already in my library, but I have more hint um, Stein's uh, patterns in my library. Um, I decided on this one because it uses DK and I can't wait to knit something with my new DK weight yarn. Um, let's see, where is the picture? Oh, then the Snowfall Sweater Scarf by Knititude. That is a pattern that Kiersey would like to have. So uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, but I will knit it this year. Uh, the Brioque, that was my birthday cast on in 2020. It's on my needles since December 27, 2020, over three years. <sighs> Come on, it's already steaked. I need to knit the sleeves and the, the collar and the... Button band. I totally blanked on the word. Uh, my Seriously Holy is on my list. Uh, I started that this year as my birthday, nay, as my Christmas Eve cast on uh, last year. Um, I have my scrappy socks uh, on there. I already have one finished, but I need to um, knit the other one. And of course, the Line Dance Mystery Knit Along. I did not plan on knitting along, but then I was going to make my make make nine. And then I thought it's only, it's only five times 30 grams or something. So it's a bandana style cowl. It's nothing big, nothing complicated. So I did put it there for fun. And I hope to keep up while knitting it. So, I, I am going to edit this now. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Happy crafting and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye! Mm -hmm.